I threw some plates the other day and now it's time to trim them. They've been under plastic and drying for a few days. It's best to let your plates dry slowly. There can be a lot of warping in a plate when it dries quickly. What will happen is the outside edge will dry and shrink and the rest of the plate tries to dry, but the, anyway, it just it doesn't work well. It don't work good. <laughs> so we're going to trim these plates today. I'm gonna trim on a board slightly larger than the one I threw it on. I want to moisten the part of the board that's gonna touch the, the wheel and the clay, and I'm going to get the the bat wet that's going to be on the plate. I'm going to turn it upside down and gently trim, turn it over. Line it up on the holes on the wheel head and remove my board, my bat. I want to clean all of this stuff off of here. Now I talked about reclaiming clay before and how I like to not waste it. This clay I don't put in the reclaim or the recycle. These bats are getting old and every time I do that I can scratch off a little piece of wood or something and the wood will burn out and leave holes and dents and cause all sorts of problems that aren't anywhere near worth the amount of clay that you're throwing out. Okay, so now I have it upside down on the wheel. I want to make sure that my plate is level, that it's not going like this. I'm not gonna to worry too much about scented right now. I'm just gonna hold it down and it is level. We threw a large platter online a few years ago. I talked about trimming and leveling at all that point. I just, if your needle touches all the way around, there's not a high spot. I want to make sure it's in the middle. Moisture is the only thing that holds this on here. Make sure your, your bat is nice and moist. Uh, and you want to, it'll stick. Notice I wiggled it and put a little bit of slip under there. I'm not going to hold it down with any little balls of clay. And I'm going to hold my needle and center it this way. It touches the piece that is furthest from center, makes a mark, and I'm going to push it to center. I'm going to erase that mark because I get confused easily and make a new mark. They should be getting longer and longer until eventually it'll go all the way around. Now you're only going to center the part of the plate you're trimming. And I'm just, if this part isn't centered or that part, you're trimming from here to here. Those are the parts that are centered. Get my trimming tool and start cutting it away. When we threw this plate, the inside measurement was eight inches. It has shrunk some in the drawing. And now the inside of this plate is about seven and a half. I've got my caliper measured out to seven and a half inches. If I cut this foot to be seven and a half inches, it's going to nest nicely in the plate below it and receive the plate above it. When I throw, I throw quite a bit of clay on the outside. That's close to seven and a half. I'm just gonna drop that down and make a foot. You have to make sure when you're throwing that you allow for the clay. Now that will be seven and a half, or close enough for the guys I go with. <laughs> He's behind the, the camera, anyway. That'll be seven and a half, and now I want to make a tidy foot on the bottom. I've often said your pots have to be just as tidy on the bottom as they are tidy on the top. I want to trim that and I'm just moving my trimming tool across on the radius. I've talked about trimming in other videos before. I'm not going to give it a lot of time right now. But you can hear the difference in the thickness. And that, that lower tone is thicker than the higher tone. So I'm going to go across. And then I'm going to drop my trimming tool right in there because I do have the clay for it to make a nice definite line. Have a nice tidy bottom. I've opened the clay with the trimming tool. I'm going to seal it up now with your sponge. Your sponge brings up those small particles and seals your clay. You don't want to be able to tell where the trimming ends and the throwing starts. It all looks the same. I like to run my finger across the inside of that because I'm going to stamp it in a second and I like it to be tidy. The pots always have to be tidy. And with my stamp, I stamp out of the fire studio. 
that's who we are. And made in Canada because that's where they're made. I'm gonna take that off of there. Now I always have a piece of paper because if you put your pot right back on the vat, there's a very good chance it'll stick and have to cut it off with the wire. Now I've mo moistened both sides. I'm gonna put my paper on. As I said before, you want it to stick to the paper and not to the board. You don't want to have to cut this off with a wire after you've made your bottom nice and tidy. And I've got room for another plate on there. I like to get rid of the wrinkles. And then I'm going to put it on... Oh, there's a messy bit right there. I am fussy. I do like them to be tidy. And then I'm going to gently turn that over and put it back on the wheel head. Line up the holes and remove. You're going to hear a difference in the tone as it lets go. You can hear it drop. And now it's ready for the next plate. Often when it falls, you're going to capture a little pocket of air in there. Just make sure you didn't. And I'm not going to worry too much about center at this point. If you want to, you can center it lightly with your sponge. I just want to make the inside tidy and tidy up the edge that touched the bat. At this point, if you've warped it in the trimming, you can tell by one side it'll be a little bit higher. You can just lower that a little bit. But you've got to watch it as you lower one side, you lower the other side, and pretty soon your plates are just flat. And the last thing I'm going to do with a piece of plastic, the same plastic that you use to cover your leftovers, I'm just going to hold it on the edge. Again, I don't care if it's completely centered. It's just going to make a nice, tidy, shiny edge that will hold the glaze properly. No bits will come through. Anyway, it just looks nice. So there's my plate, and it's trimmed. I've got uh, a bunch more plates to trim, and that's trimming plates.